Are we ready, Todd? We ready to do it? Time for Todd's Daily Complaint. Todd never complains, right? Right. Right. That's why we always give him a couple of minutes to complain about something. You're quasi-evil. You're semi-evil. You're the margarine of evil. You're the Diet Coke of evil. Just one calorie, not evil enough. Hey, look, he can't always be happy. It's time for Todd's Daily Complaint. What year is it? What year are we in now? Does anyone know? 2015. 2015. Zach, you and I are around the same age. I think you're a couple years older than I am. Confirmed. Remember when you were a child? You grew up a fan of what what basketball team? We'll just say college. The Indiana Hoosiers. Did you see every Indiana game on TV? No. But now, if you want to watch the Hoosiers play every game, you can find them on a channel, right? Correct. Same goes locally for Oklahoma and Oklahoma State, especially once they get into conference play. So TV viewership is pretty damn important for those schools. Would you agree? Uh, indirectly. I mean, we've seen we yeah. Oklahoma State scheduled a football game this past year just for television. It's important for oh, recruiting to be on TV. I thought you were talking about basketball specifically. Well, no, both. You're talking about sports in general? Both. It's important to be seen on yeah. TV. Oh, yes, yes. And to, you know, put yourself out there. Yes. In the words of Bob Stoops, in a great way. Yes. It's 2015, and we still have camera angles at arenas where fans can stand up and be in the way of the camera shot. Did anybody else try to watch Bedlam over the weekend? And every time the fans stood, you couldn't see past the three-point line. That is funny. On the on the wing that I, was on the near side. I know what you're talking about. Why the hell can you not find a spot for your camera to go where you don't get the heads of Johnny Donor that's standing up in front of the camera? You know the fans are going to stand. Adjust the camera angle. Now, I will say this. Oklahoma State has made a huge improvement. You may remember this or may not, Zach, because you weren't around here when they had this camera angle. It used to look like the camera was on top of the roof shooting straight down at Gallagher Iva. And yes, it was tough to watch. But you know what never happened? Some jackass never stood in the way of the players because you could see the entire court. And it's not just Oklahoma State. Other schools have the same issue. The Washington Redskins, for crying out loud, every time they score a touchdown, you watch when they're playing at RFK, every time they score a touchdown, you will see fans' hands go up in the air right into the camera view. How hard is it to build a spot where the camera can see all of the action for those watching at home on television? It doesn't seem like it'd be that hard, and we still can't figure it out. It's 2015. We can put a camera on a damn wire that goes back and forth in an NFL stadium, but for crying out loud, we can't put a camera spot. We can't put a uh, whatever they're called, a camera pad or wherever they set their stuff up at. We can't put that somewhere that is above the fans. Camera pedestal. There you go. Base, yeah. We can't put it above the fans. Still can't figure that out. Camera stand. And it baffles me. That's good. Um, you just made me think of something that why aren't we doing this? Why aren't why don't we have the sky cam, the little spider cam? Why isn't that? You know, put one on the sideline. How come we don't watch it from that? I mean, you know, you know what I mean? Like, and no. go back and forth as the players are going yeah, back and forth. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that would that would eliminate a lot of confusion, would it not? Like just you just move it down the field, kind of like you do, kind of like they used to do back in the day with uh, with the guy who drives the cart uh, on right. uh, at field level, the dri- guy who drives the cart of the guy in the uh, in the camera stand. Like, why don't we just use the spider cam as your regular camera and move as move it, you know, from sideline down the sideline from end zone to end zone while you're watching the game? Not one that's over that hovers over the top of the field, not that, but just one that is suspended from the air from the top of the stadium. Like, hey, look, someone shot a three from the near side, or was it a three? I don't know. I can't tell because all I can see is the back of some Wrangler wearing dude that jumped up and stood right in front of the shot. Mm-hmm. 
unreal. That, 2015, and we can't figure out how to put a camera where people aren't in the way. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Todd's daily complaint.